Hello everyone, this is the Toucan Guy here doing another commentary today. So, yeah, I basically just got back from the, the store, or a store. I bought a new Xbox Live Gold membership. You know, what, what's the point of, uh, of having multiplayer games for the Xbox without even getting that, but more importantly, I now have a copy of Ghostbusters the game on PC. I saw it, it was five bucks. I just bought it. And what's really nice though is that it, it supports the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Uh, it pretty much supports any gamepad where it's kind of meant to be played with a controller. It's kind of meant for console, but... Yeah, this is really the first time I've actually seen uh, a copy of this in a store for the PC. It was five bucks, so I jumped at the chance and bought it. it was, uh, so, so far, I've, I'm still on the first level because those are pretty long. And there's no like save option. There's only auto saves, which is kind of kind of sucks. But yeah, from what I've played of the game so far, uh, so far, it's a really enjoyable, enjoyable game. Just based off like the first half of the first level, I highly re recommend that you buy it. However, though, if you do use a controller, make sure that vibra vibration for the controller is turned off, or else every single time that uh, the controller attempts to vibrate, the game will freeze. And then when the game comes back, you'll have to unplug and plug the controller back in about two times in order for it to work again. And the software isn't really out for, uh, for the vibration of the controller. <coughs> Sorry, I kind of had to clear my throat. I just need lunch. Um, however, though, whether whether or not you think of it as a good or bad thing, the game does not support games for Windows Live. So if you live in a country that games for Windows is not in, you can play the game, but you can't interact with your friends who are on their Xbox while playing the game. I guess you can if you have, like, I don't know, your Xbox turned on the side, but then there's really no point in that. But, uh, anyways, there's one thing that is actually, uh, surprising. No, I'm not really sure, because the game came out in, uh, 2009. I mean, if it came out today, You'd be surprised at the fact that it has a full manual. A full 13 page manual. Not as big as one for Killzone 2. And that one's in full color. Yeah, they're kind of getting rid of manuals. Like, they start having, like, taking out the color and they shorten them. And then there are some games that just don't have manuals anymore. Like, Gears of War 3. The limited edition only had a two-page manual. However, though, there's like a 500-page strategy guide you can get for like 50 bucks. I mean, I don't want to pay 50 bucks for a huge manual. I'd rather have an actual, like, standard-sized manual come with the game. However, though, because I live in Canada, there's also a French version as well. So, yeah, Ghostbusters, the video game, came out in 2009. It was, uh... I think it was published by Atari. I don't know, I think Atari made it, because there's another studio there, Terminal Reality, but... It is, in fact, licensed by... Sony Pictures, as well. I think Ghostbusters is owned by the movie division of Sony, but that's kind of odd seeing as how like straight out of the box sports Xbox controller. 
like even the uh, like the symbols there. It uh, has A button B, you know. It doesn't have like button one, two, three, four. No. It actually says A, B, X, Y. And uh, from what I've heard, it also supports PS3 controller. I don't know, I have not tried it. Well, if it supports a PS3 controller, then it supports the PS2 controller. And I have a PS2 controller, so. Yeah, with a. Uh, I have a USB adapter for the PS2 controller. So, yeah, I'm just based on the little bit I've played by the Ghostbusters game. I mean, whether or not it's on Xbox, PS3, or PC, if you find it, buy it. I mean, I. Normally, it's like tw like $20. I managed to get it for 5 you know. And it wasn't used like it was uh, new for the PC. It was kind of the first time I actually saw like, a box copy of it for the PC. Which uh, was kind of odd, because he thinks that a game that doesn't use games for Windows Live or Steam would have more boxed copies. Uh, yeah, it's easier to find on the Xbox or PS3, so I suggest you buy it there, but... You know, where I have it on the PC, if I ever plan on doing like a Let's Play or a walkthrough of it, 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 I don't have to get a capture card and everything, I can just use fraps and record it like that. So, what else? Um, yeah, yesterday was Canada Day. Canada Day sale. That's how I got the game for five bucks. Um, unfortunately, though, there's no online co-op. And in, in order to uh, fully install, well, you can un install the game in order to actually play, like, load it up the first time you need internet so you can authorize it. Mm. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is in it. You know, that that's one, like, one of the staples of the Ghostbusters franchise. So yeah, this gameplay is over. This has been the Toucan Guy here talking about the Ghostbusters game. Well, Canada Day and other stuff, so yeah. See ya.